Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got home from the gym, out of the shower, <laughs> and of course my hair looks crazy. And I just noticed that my little wax pile over there looks like it's about to tip over. Probably one of the tops isn't centered on the top of the bin. But I wanted my empties basket is getting really full. So I thought, I, I wanna say I wanna get a bigger wax empties basket, but I already don't do them weekly, so. Anyway, here we are. I don't know how long it's been since my last wax empties. It's on my channel, so you can see that. Um, there's a lot here, so let's get into it. Hopefully I won't find many crafts from Brianna in here. All right, um, okay. First one here is a clamshell from Kay's Scented Melts, and stuff is falling on the ground, in clover and aloe. This is one of my favorite fresh oils. I love it in blends. Love it by itself. Um, it's one of those I've talked about before that smells solo like it's gentle, but when you put it in blends, it really takes over. So when you blend it, make sure not to put as much as you might think needs to be in it. So I feel like the like dregs of mascara that's left over <laughs> after my shower. Um, anyways, love. We'll get it again. We'll continue to blend it. Next one is a clamshell from Kay's. This is from her fresh spring fresh sampler. And this is called Smooth Criminal, and it's eucalyptus, abobath, and lemon curd. This was a banger. Obviously, those notes, those oils, there's a good reason that it was a very strong thrower. Um, on cold, I mostly got lemon curd and then abobath with like a touch of eucalyptus. But when it melted, when it was warm, the eucalyptus was much stronger. This was like easily like a 10 plus out of 10. Very strong. If you're a clean lemon lover, this is a go-to. Very strong. Um, next one I have here, I'm actually melting it, or I melted it in my bathroom this morning. Um, I just didn't post it on Instagram because I had taken a picture of it and then it wasn't on my phone. I don't know. Um, I believe this is one that Farron sent to me uh, from What She Melts on Instagram. This is Super Tarts Flossy, and this is Cotton Candy and Double Mint Gum. I know it sounds interesting, but I really like this one. Um, the Double Mint, I think it's like Spearmint and Peppermint together. Um, I really, really like this one. If I see it come around, um, I will definitely get it. It looks like from the label, it's in the mint category. Um, so I am someone that really loves the smell of gum, except for wintergreen. No go on that. Um, but I really do. So this one, it throws strongly. The I would say the mint part, the double mint gum, is stronger than the cotton candy. But that is definitely in there just a touch to make it sweeter. Really good. I love that one. This clamshell is insane how soft. It's like, this feels like gum in the back. <laughs> Anyways, a repurchase for sure. Thank you, Farron, on that one. Um, Coco is sitting here bathing the bed. Um, this was a, I believe this was a souffle from Teddy B's in Simply Christmas. And this is the smell of Christmas furs with the slightest hit, hint of candy canes. And this, a lot of people, when they hauled this one, said that the mint was really strong. It wasn't for me. It really was the tiniest hint of mint. Um, and the trees in this one, um, to me, smelt more junipery than like piney or Christmassy, which I really like. I just like her pine scent better. Um, so one that in the future, like when Christmas scents come up, I will buy for sure, but in a souffle, not in like a tub or chunks or loaf or anything like that. Um, because to me, this didn't smell like a Christmas tree. It smelled more like juniper juniper with a touch of mint so good scent just not my favorite of all the amazing tree scents she has um this was a breakaway bar from destination wax in redwood cedar and the notes here are a warm forest scent of red cedar sandalwood and green fern this one was very strong very nice um for me it was definitely on the masculine side woodsy i really got that cedar the sandalwood Yet it didn't smell like just a tree scent. The, it definitely had this like, almost like if you've been to California, like around Candlestick Park, um, it had this like sunshiny, like forest air to it. It doesn't necessarily smell like Christmas trees or coniferous trees per se. It smelled more like a mixed forest, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Um, this was a loaf from Teddy B's in Mosaic. And Mosaic is sweet strawberries, sugar cookies, and rich peach cobbler. Did I say sweet strawberries? Sweet raspberries. 
Um, this was good in theory. It smells good on cold and it smells good on warm. It's just not very strong. And I tried it in all different warmers. I tried it in all different ways and it just wasn't what I was looking for. I really like her peach cobbler scent that she uses. Um, what is it? The peach cobbler and cookies or something like that, that a lot of people rave about. Um, I really, that one's stronger. I like that one better. And I, Really couldn't identify on warm that this was like raspberries. It smelled just like a really muted sweet peach cobbler, um, which was good. But once again, quite light on throw, not a repurchase, but good in theory. I definitely will repurchase more peach cobbler blends of hers though. Um, this was from L3, a two bunt pack in Santa Sleigh Ride. It's brandied pear, cranberry, and pomegranate. This was a love of mine during the holidays. Really, it's a scent that you can melt anytime. It's one of those scents um, that I've described before that, yes, you can melt it around the holidays, um, especially I think it's a great New Year's scent because that cranberry and pomegranate together, I guess with memories, smells almost effervescent. So it smells really cheery and really just like fun holiday vibes versus like, bakery or tree or anything like that. So I have, I think one more backup loaf that I'm saving for these, this upcoming holidays, um, upcoming it's April, <laughs> but, um, holidays 2022. So I don't have to purchase it again, but I really, it's a nice break during the holidays where it still smells like holiday cheer. But once again, it's not like a cinnamon spice. It's not like a tree scent or whatever, but it still evokes that you know, feeling. So really like that one. And it's always really strong. Um, this is from the pharmacist daughter. This was a souffle souffle in Margaritaville, key lime pie and frozen margarita. Loved this one. Um, I am surprised cause I am not a key lime pie fan in scent. I am in food, <laughs> but that frozen margarita oil must be really good, really cold and sharp lime. And it really saved that. So the key lime pie ends up just adding like a frothy sweetness almost to it. And this is really, really good. One that I think um, I will get more of in the future for the summer. Because this is just a perfect summer scent. It was very strong. Lasted a long time. Was really good. This is a half bam from um, Super Tarts in Walk the Plank. I believe this is her Jaws and Lavender scent. So... <clears throat> I don't think I like her jaws. Um, I think when I got this, I really on cold when I, you know, did my little haul on it. Um, I really liked it cause her lavender is really good. Um, and this one I think is just, it just says lavender. It doesn't say lavender cream or herbal lavender. I don't think, um, that part's really good, but it's mixed with jaws and jaws is like, first of all, I don't smell it very well at all. I feel like whatever it's blended with, it kind of waters it down to my like I don't identify it or something, which has to do with me because a lot of other people love that scent. So it has to be me and my brain and my nose. I get this slight, like sweet, possibly salty Sierra situation. Like it's very strange. Me and me and uh, Jaws are just not, we don't mesh. Um, so not a repurchase for me, but I do like the lavender in it. This was a cuts bag, an eight ounce cuts bag from Kay's. Um, my friend Melissa Ferguson sent this one to me. It's in her lavender linen oil just by itself, solo. So good, you guys. Oh, this just solo is amazing. This in blends is amazing. I have a hard time explaining this one because there is this texture to it. This is gonna sound weird, but have you seen those like ASMR videos with the soap bars where they cut them and then they cut like, they cut it in like crisscross and then they like slice off all those little tiny pieces. And you can see almost that like shiny layer of soap. The way that looks is like the texture of how this smells. I know that sounds really weird, but if you smell this oil before, you might know what I mean. It is just gorgeous. And this one throws so well, throws all day. Um, I am not opposed to getting this one solo in a large amount um, or in, it will hold its own in a blend also. Beautiful. Thank you, Melissa. I think, cause she sent me two bags of this. I think this is my second one. Um, so I'll have to go in and get some more of that at some point. This next one is, this was a little like snowflake shape from the pharmacist daughter in Sleigh Ride. 
And this is Twisted Peppermint, Red Berries, Pine, and Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, I love this one. I think I have one more snowflake of this that I have in my holiday bin saved for this upcoming holiday season. This is so good. I don't know why I didn't get more of this one. This really... It, there's twisted peppermint. It's definitely peppermint, but there is that pine. There's just a touch of it that makes it more outdoorsy and atmospheric. And then the marshmallow fireside, there's just enough touches of those other notes that it really feels like a magical holiday experience. And it threw really strongly. It's just so good. Um, when this comes out again, hopefully uh, in the upcoming holidays, I'm hoping to get a larger amount of it or at least a few souffles of it because it's beautiful. This is a large scoop from L3 in Don't Cross Streams Strawberry Pound Cake. So this one was good to blend with some other things, but in the end, this was too like plasticky baby doll kind of scent. Like if you have a baby doll that's scented like strawberry chapstick, that's kind of what this one ended up smelling like to me. It throws well and it's great. Um, I've liked melting it with or blending it with like tree scents that are really strong and acidic. Um, sweet strawberry scents just go really well with those. I don't know why. Whoever, whichever vendor came up with that type of blend in the first place is genius because you would never think to do it, but then there magic happens with that. So amazing. Um, this was a bunt from L3's recent Jammin um, sampler. This was, I think, my favorite on cold from that sampler. And this is strawberry jam, blueberry muffin, and white cake. Um, part of why I love this so much is the strawberry jam really smells just like summer scoop to me, which is my favorite strawberry oil. Um, there's the tiniest, tiniest hint of blueberry muffin in the background. I might not have even known it was there if it wasn't on the label. And then the white cake, like maybe this is almost like, because of that note in the back, almost like strawberry white cake oil because the summer scoop oil smells similar to me, uh, similar to the strawberry in strawberry white cake. So it could be that. It could be that strawberry white cake and blueberry muffin, but um, the blueberry muffin's not very heavy in there. Anyways, um, interestingly enough, this one did not throw super well for me. Um, it was kind of quiet. If this had thrown better for me, I would have requested it um, in larger amounts because that's how much I liked it, but it was very quiet for me. Um, next up is a clamshell from Kay's, once again, from her Spring Fresh sampler. This is Mystic Waters, Emerald Agave, Cactus Blossom, and Melon. This, of course, threw really well. Her Emerald Agave oil is a very strong, like, green, um, fruity, floral, really just, it's a beautiful oil that I've never smelled from anyone else, and it has lots of, it's very complex. Um, and then Cactus Blossom, the Bath and Body Works type, and her Melon, this is one of her oils that she sells solo. Um, and yeah, it's just, it was very strong. I melted this mostly in my bathroom. Um, one, like I might get again, but I mostly just got the emerald agave in it for the most part. So um, I might just, I mean, I have lots of customs with that oil in it. I've had it by itself a ton. So I'm sure I will get it again. <laughs> so good one though. Um, Let me see. That's was a tester. That was a tester. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this was a, I went and got a bunch of the Trig Tarts from L3 just to get ideas of what different um, like solo oils smelled like from her. This is Fluffy Towels. This to me was quite interesting. On cold, it's kind of quiet. Um, but this throws crazy on warm and lasted like two days because I put it in my melters over the weekend when I work and I don't switch them out nearly as much during that time. So when I got this and hauled it, I said that it smelled like comfort zone from like another vendor. Um, that's an oil that's out there for them to purchase. And I still think that it smells like comfort zone, but almost with like olive branches from Lush in it too. It's this very, very earthy um, laundry, but not super, it's mostly earthy. It's interesting to me that this is called fluffy towels because it doesn't smell like any other fluffy towels that I've smelled from any vendor I honestly wonder if this got mixed up and was something else because this smells nothing like fluffy towels. It smells like a very gorgeous earthy, like maybe like Egyptian cotton or Egyptian amber. That's what this, like it smells more similar to that. So whatever this is, I truly do think this got switched out, but it's beautiful. So it's nice. 
Um, this was a little sample from L3 in pretzeled, pretzel honey buttered rolls blackberry jam. This was really interesting to me because I don't like L3's pretzel. It's very yeasty to me. Um, I'm more of a fan of like Rose Girls pretzel oil that is more definitely like crunchy pretzel sticks. Um, but this is very similar to Benny, is it Benny and June from L3? It's the, that is like honey buttered rolls, blackberry marmalade, I think. Um, which is interesting because in Benny and June, I don't really smell the honey buttered rolls, but because of the pretzel in here, it, it like pulls it out more or something. So I actually like this better than Benny and June because it smells like what it was supposed to smell like in my opinion. So this sample, definitely good. Um, if this was put out in a larger amount, like end of summer, closer to fall, I might get that one. It's actually pretty good. Um, this was a bag of the Mario Melters from Rose Girls. This specific bag was given to me by Susan Fitzpatrick. Love her so much. One of my best friends in the uh, wax world. This is Shadow Queen from Rose Girls, um, the Mario Melters line. There's quite a few notes to this. Let me see if I can remember. There's definitely Lord of Misrule, Vanilla Bourbon. Um, I think it's Marshmallow Fireside or Toasted Marshmallow. Um, is there one more thing in there? It's this very, it was a customer creation, first of all. And it's this very earthy, oh, there's tobacco in there too, I think. Anyways, this is amazing. Um, now that I'm done with this bag, I have a half pie in it and I've been waiting to chop that up until I was done with this. I like this scent much more in the summer. This is one of my favorite things to melt at night when the weather is warm. Because it's earthy, tobacco-y, a little bit smoky, but it's not sweet. Like I said, there is that marshmallow in it, but it, it barely adds any sweetness to it. Um, so this is one of my very favorite summer night, excuse me, melts. Um, and it's so good. It's very unique. If you're a earthy kind of like tobacco lover, I highly suggest Shadow Queen. And I'm really excited to get to chop up that half pie. Um, next up here is from Nerdy Wax Company. It's one of the little uh, scent shots. And what else can I do? It's from the um, Encanto line. This was Cactus and Sea Salt plus Florals. And this is very floral, but also has that like aquatic fre freshness that Cactus and Sea Salt has. Um, I think I melted this in my bathroom. And that floral in here, which almost kind of smells like lily and lilac together kind of to me, um, was very strong. This melted very well. I think I bought two of these. So I have one more of this left. Just smells very springy, very pretty. The name really applied, um, because Isabella, one of her magical powers is she creates all these beautiful flowers. So there you go. Definitely liked that one. Um, this was a cuts bag, a custom cuts bag from K's in Laundry Never Ends. Um, it was one of my customs. It's White Clouds, Satsuma, Sorel, and Lemon Thyme. I based this custom off a of Super Tarts blend, and I constantly forget what it is. But it is Satsuma, White Clouds, and was it something else? Or it might have just been those two notes. Um, they call it like Gentle Laundry or something like that, but it's White Clouds. I loved it so much. Um, my, I think my friend Candy sent me a sample of that one. And I loved it so much and I wanted to recreate it. I like this slightly better. I liked, Satsuma is okay. It's usually not one of my favorite oils. It's cause it falls kind of flat to me, like a warm orange. And I, ugh, I just cannot. So the lemon and thyme like elevates it a little bit for it to be more of a lively citrus mixed with this. And I loved this so much. I ordered a loaf, which her loaves, her loaves, her loaves, are 16 ounces. So these cut bags are eight ounces. Um, but the cut bags per ounce are a little bit more money because they're more time intensive, obviously. Um, and I've never ordered loaves from K before actually. Um, so I thought I, cause I wanted to re up on this scent. I would just buy a whole loaf of it because I went through this so fast and so easily. And I love it so, so much. This is just like a uh, standard in my house now. Um, so good, very strong throw lasts all day. Really good. Um, this is from a long time ago when Kay still had the scent shot cups. This was a test scent in iced pineapple. I don't know why I took so long to melt this. Um, I, <laughs> this is so good. Um, there is a vendor. Well, I, this is the empties video, so I can say whatever I want. Um, 
people know that Jenny from Rose Girls has an amazing pineapple oil. I know that. It's very strong. It's gorgeous. It's so juicy. It's so fresh. This smells just like that. Um, it's amazing. Oh, man. Um, so Carla has in her Facebook group, like a thread in the group about like where she wants you to go put information. If she ends up sending you a test scent, which she sends them out randomly to everybody. And she'll often put like a sticker that says test scent on it. Um, and so that's where like the information or your opinion about the test scents go. And I went off on this one, strong, juicy, amazing. I hope she puts this on. I mean, this is from a long time ago, but I hope she puts this on the list because wow, so good. I am a pineapple scent lover if it's the right pineapple oil. And that is it. Um, this was another test scent I hope she puts on. This was a sample in Oil Volet. This is, I mean, connect with me here, people of the 80s. This is OG Oil Volet scent. Um, if you have smelled like the facial moisturizer from, I mean, it's the scent is probably actually from the 90s. Oh, it's so nostalgic. It's so good. It's like a creamy, soapy, feminine kind of scent. Um, this was like a circle, like honey bee kind of shape. Um, I put it just in one melter in my bathroom. I'm not lying. 48 hours of throw. It, and I got this like top middle base note situation that kind of over the t over time like changed and it was just so stunning I put it in at night before I went to work one day came back the next night it was amazing woke up the next day and was like wow I can still smell that that smells so good came to work came home from work that night and I was like okay I've got to <laughs> I've got to switch this out it has been forever but this is beautiful so hopefully she also adds this to her lineup because and if you are a lover of this kind of scent. Trust me on this. You will not be disappointed. And I don't, if you can definitely get this if you're not a soap lover, it's not super soapy. Um, my nose, I just search for soap notes because I love them. This is more of like a creamy, fresh, feminine. Oh, I can't even explain. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. Um, this is a scent shot, a one ounce scent shot from K's in flowering cactus and jade. Um, I went and looked, I have like an old small bin of like samples and scent shot cups. Woo. And I kind of dug through it. Um, I had half of this left. I just melted in Brianna's room. Um, cause her melter, it throws really well, but it doesn't hold very much wax. This is beautiful. It's a very green, fresh. It almost smells like a, like when you go to the green, like a greenhouse or nursery plant nursery in the spring. You get like this touch of soil, this touch of green, but not quite grass. It just smells very nourishing. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I don't know how I forgot about this one. I need to go on her site and see if she still has this because this is, it's gorgeous, stunning, throws super well. Love this one. Um, I have so much in here, you guys. This is a sample from L3 in At The Pier. Someone told me when I posted this one on Instagram, oh, my hip is having like a spasm. Um, this was a customer creation and they put the notes in that, the comment they made. One of the notes was Beechwood Vetiver, which actually it surprised me because usually Beechwood Vetiver um, takes over scents for me. I, I'm a little nose sick of that oil because it it definitely overtakes everything. I barely smell it in here though. This is a very like fresh air, but rustic almost kind of scent. Um, if this came back in like bunts or something like that, I might get some. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Coco is so funny. Um, this was from the Jammin sampler. It was a bunt from L3 in blackberry jam, sugar shortbread, buttercream frosting. Um, like this one a lot too, because I love blackberry jam. I love her sugar shortbread. Her buttercream frosting is not my favorite note. Um, I find that it also kind of waters things down and smells interesting. I don't know. It's not my favorite note, but this was really good because of the other two notes. Um, I would definitely get more anything with her blackberry jam and sugar shortbread. Really good. Um, this was a trig tart from L3 and Hawaiian cocoa butter. This is the one that is supposed to smell like banana boat and it did. I melted this in my basement um, and it's so nice because it 
really reminds you of the beach, but it's not like that sharp Bobbi Brown beach, like copper tone scent. It's that almost like banana body lotion with a touch of sunscreen kind of vibe. It's definitely more tolerable to people's sinuses that might be affected by that more Bobbi Brown kind of vibe. Um, I have two more trick tarts in this and I really like it. This is from the Palo Santo sampler, um, the recent one from L3. This is a bunt. Cookie Therapy Palo Santo Cashmere Cedar. I was very surprised how much I liked this. In fact, I posted this in her um, group about how much I liked this. The reason I'm surprised is Cashmere Cedar, uh, in the last six months or so, my nose has decided not to like it. It's very sharp, like acrid to my nose. Um, and causes my sinuses to be very upset. But somehow mixed with that Palo Santo and cookie therapy, the blend, it almost turns into this musky, woody. Oh gosh, it's so good. And I'm not a fan of her cookie therapy either, which is so funny, you guys. You know I love L3. I've gone broke over L3, just kidding. Um, I have more L3 than anything else. But man, I would never have bought this on its own because of the cookie therapy and because of the cashmere cedar. I don't know what this is, but it's magical and I love it. Um, I would definitely order more of that. This was a bunt from L3 in Lighthouse Saltwater Mermaid. It was okay. Um, Saltwater Mermaid to my nose is very strong, fresh, slightly fruity, floral. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Lighthouse is one that a lot of people love, but is I don't smell it very much at all. I've tried it in puppy packs. I've tried it in so many things. I've mostly rehomed it to other people that can smell it. I unfortunately can't. And so that one just was a very watered down version of Saltwater Mermaid. Um, one ounce from K's in Arugula or Aragula, however people say it. This is so good. It's actually kind of similar to that Flowering Cactus and Jade. Let me see if I can find that. Um, not They're not the same, but they're definitely similar vibes. Green and just, don't think of the Arugula that you put on top of like your pizza or you eat in a salad. I mean, I like that too. Oh gosh, it's so good. Um, hold on. Okay. So I would say arugula, um, is, is more green, maybe a touch of like soapy freshness to it. And the flowering cactus and jade has more of a earthy, just a touch of like almost soil, but fresh soil, not sometimes soil can smell like canned beets to me. Definitely not like that. These are very similar, both fresh green plant almost type scents, but they're, they have a different, a slight play on each other. I would say that, um, they're, oh, and they're both very strong. Now they're both make me, I love them both, but I almost like this arugula better. This one has like a touch of like aquaticness and a touch, smallest touch of soapiness to it. Oh man, that is freaking good. Um, amazing. Oh, I should get some more of that. That is so good. Um, this is a sample from Teddy B's in Between the Sheets. And this is Magnolia Blossoms, Green Leaves, Sandalwood, Melon, Stainless Steel, Lavender, Jasmine, and Fresh Ozone. Thoroughly enjoyed this. I have a souffle of it. This is one that was new to me in the pre-order. I definitely get like Magnolia Blossoms. Just the Stainless Steel is just giving that like aquaticness to it. Definitely Fresh Ozone sandalwood this smells like a very gentle laundry kind of scent to me i like it it's not my favorite but i definitely am a fan this was a big bag <laughs> from um oh my gosh here we go my friend <laughs> she's on instagram b lopez what be oh my gosh b lopez you guys all know her something is wrong with my brain she sent me the biggest beautiful box of wax and she knows I'm a huge fan of Vintage Chic Scents Elf Judy. This is Palo Santo, Warm Vanilla Sugar and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Love so much. I'm not the biggest Cupcakes at Tiffany's fan, but when it's in blends like this, it really lends this warm, just depth, like bakery depth to it. That just makes it beautiful. But to me, this is not Cupcakes at Tiffany dominant. I personally think the warm vanilla sugar and Palo Santo are much stronger in here and the cupcakes at Tiffany's is just the background scent. Now my brain is trying to like talk to you guys and remember her name. Bernice, correct? <laughs> what is wrong with me? 
I have like all these thoughts in my head all day and then I sit down in front of the camera and they all fall out. All of them. I sh yeah, whatever. Um, this is a scent. I believe that Farron from What She Melts sent me. This is from Super Tarts. And I think this is, is it FERK? I think that says F-E-R-K, correct? Um, and this is grape soda, mac apple, and sponge sugar. Very surprisingly, I really like this one. Um, when this comes back around, it looks like it might be in the berry pre-order because it has um, berries or maybe fruity. I'll have to see. So my favorite artificial flavor in candy is grape and then watermelon and then on goes all the things, but grape for sure. <laughs> this smells like grape Fanta and I love it so much. Definitely there is Mac apple in there, but I feel like the Mac apple just supports the grape soda in here to make it be like a little bit more fresh. And then the sponge sugar just makes it sweeter. I was very surprised how much I like this. Cause somehow it smells like grape soda, which is like sticky, sugary, whatever, but it is fresh. And I think it's probably that Mac apple. It's so good. And it threw really well. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. I have no idea if she's going to rename this. Cause I don't know what FERC refers to. I don't know if that's like one of the copyright situations. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, next up, this was a large like tart from Waxidents in Black Tie. This is kefir, lime, lemon, ozonic notes, basil, black pepper, cucumber, vetiver, and spice. I was hopeful that this was the Bath and Body Works type black tie. Um, it wasn't, but especially on cold, it smelled very different than black tie. I think on warm, it smelled more similar to Bath and Body Works black tie, but still was different. But I would definitely repurchase this one for what it is. It definitely is like a brother to black tie. It's almost like you would take Bath and Body Works black tie, but add like a masculine lime soap to it, which I am not mad about. I am not mad about that. This was very strong. I often melted this in my room and my bathroom. Love it so much. Um, Waxidence is just so underrated. I mean, I know she makes a lot of sales and she's great, but like, I don't think people talk enough about her stuff. It's really good. This is from Zape Lavender Soda. It's a clamshell. You guys know. Um, often duplicated, but never. What is it called? What's that saying, you guys? Often copied, but not duplicated. I cannot. Whatever that freaking saying is. Um, this has, this combination of scents is a very popular one. Lavender and soda or lavender fizz or lavender fizzy pop, whatever. On hers, it says fresh lavender and citrus fizz. Um, I have been obsessed with this one. It throws very well, which from Zape, I unfortunately, as much as I love the vibe of her company and what she puts out, her clamshells and like hard wax doesn't throw super well for me. And her um, scoopables are very hit and miss for me. Um, but I love the aesthetic very much. But lavender soda always throws, whether it's in scoopable, like no matter what it's in. And so I have one more clamshell of this and then a scoopable of it. And I'm so happy. But a lot of vendors have caught, I think someone has told me that Ashley from Zape is the first one that put this type of blend out. I could be wrong. That's just what I've read and heard. Um, but I feel like nobody has done it as well as this. And I don't know if it's just the specific oils, the ratios, how she does it, but it's amazing. Amazing and throws very well. This is a small scoop from L3 in La Llorona in Seaside Cotton, Rainstorms, Forest Air. Y'all already know. This, I think, was my second. Well, no. I mean, I've had so much of this. But in a couple pre-orders back, um, she only offered this in the small scoops. And I got two small scoops of it. This is my second one. I can't remember if I finished my first one or if I shared it. I might have shared it with somebody that wanted to try it or I thought would like it. I just can't remember. That's so good. Her... You, I think the most popular oil in this one is Rainstorm. She uses it in quite a bit of things. I love that oil. And then Seaside Cotton, I'd imagine, is like um, similar to Bath & Body Works. Um, I Gosh, you guys. A cotton seaside scent. Um, and then Forest Air. It's just kind of ozonic with maybe trees way in the background. This is more of like a ozonic, really fresh air with like maybe a river running through it. So there's like some fresh aquaticness. It always throws well. It's always stunning. Oh, I love it so much. I will definitely have to get more of that. 
Um, this is a loaf from L3 in Winter Snooze. Love. Um, I had two backup loaves after this. I have one chopped up that's like a third of the way gone. And then I have another one behind that. So I have enough for now, but I'm getting to the point with it that when it comes out again, I'll have to get another whatever she offers. This Winter Snooze, in case you don't know, is her Icy Peppermint Herbal Lavender and Chamomile. Amazing. Somehow all these scents together like amplify each other. This is a great nighttime blend. It's also just a great anytime blend for me. The Icy Peppermint is quite icy and that Herbal Lavender with the Chamomile almost edges on like earthy because of the chamomile. I don't know. It's really just gorgeous. Throws really well. So happy to have more of that. Um, this is from Rose Girls. This was just the little bag um, of her scent Morning Sex that was in her recent fresh sampler. Um, I've talked about this scent so many times. Love it so much. It's that very, very much spa, slightly masculine, slightly aquatic scent. To me, I've kind of always explained it like a man used a body, like a gel, shower gel, and then got out of the shower and it kind of smelled like a fresh, I don't even know, like, like almost like if you mixed like the, the male version of Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce and Gabbana light blue, stainless steel, and maybe like Sauvage or something all together, but like, it's also not super masculine at the same time. It's so, so good. It blends with so many things. I love it by itself. I love it in blends, all the things. So good. This was another cuts bag from K's. I used a lot of the like cuts bags that I just had a little bit left in them um, this, these last few weeks. This was, this one's called Rusaloo. And this one was from when I did like my family scents. Like I did um, K's Customs, for each one of my family members and kind of explained why. So this one's about my middle daughter, Rosie. She's nine years old now. Um, the scents in Rusaloo are a little black dress, the Bath and Body Works type, Lexi Licious. It's this gorgeous berry oil and grapefruit and mango steen. And this actually scent wise ended up being my very favorite custom. Um, and it threw up until the very end. This is over a year old um, and threw so well. I would definitely get this blend again. It's really good. Next one here, oh, hopefully I'm, this was a test scent from Kay's also in Beach Nights. Um, I hope she's gonna add this one because it's the good, good Beach Nights. So amazing. Um, I hope she adds this one also. Oh gosh, and this one threw so well. So I had, it was kind of like this little like dragonfly shape. Um, and I just put it in one melter in my basement. My son, Andre, has a melter in his room that has a pretty large dish in it. So I just put the whole melt in there. And I had a couple other scents going in the basement just to fill the other warmers. And when I would walk down the stairs, this is what I smelled. It's amazing. So good. I hope she adds it to her lineup. Um, next up here, this was, I think this was like a tart shape from the pharmacist daughter. This is from last year. This is Kimmy's birthday. Um, and this is strawberry pound cake, summer scoop, jelly donut, vanilla buttercream frosting, birthday cake, and cotton candy. It was good. As you can imagine from those notes. For me, it was very much the summer scoop and jelly donut with bakery in the background. So obviously it was delicious. Um, one that I would definitely get again. I love those kind of bakery scents. This was another cuts bag, custom cuts bag from K's in Desert Oasis. This is one of my customs from a couple years ago, but I've ordered it a couple times. In fact, I just ordered one more clam of it. Um, Desert Oasis is hibiscus palm. That's a perfume type. Swedish dream salt and tumbleweed and terracotta, which I'm obsessed with that oil. This one through to the very end. I think this original bag or this bag's over a year old. This truly smells like a high end desert, like oasis resort. It's fabulous. Um, throws very well. Love it so much. Um, this is from Kay's. It's a um, clamshell in clean and sassy. This is one obviously still on our website as a solo oil. This is a very like, it could be body care-ish. It's definitely like a fruity floral, but super fresh, just kind of feminine girly scent. It's kind of hard to explain. I like it solo, but I think it definitely aids itself better to blends. It's, it's nice. And then from Kay's, a clamshell and Island Escape. I think this is the one 
yeah, that Nicole Perry talked about. And that's why I got it because it has the tamarind, I call it tamarindo, but the tamarind oil in it. And I can definitely smell that. If you're familiar with um, tamarind or like the, uh, I mean, fruit or like the bean pod type tamarind, is it a fruit? Um, there's a lot of like where I grew up, um, there's a lot of candies that are tamarind based and there's drinks that are tamarind based. Um, and they're mixed with a lot of different things. I mean, you, there's sauces, tamarind sauces. I don't know. You guys that know, just know, right? <laughs> um, and that's definitely in here mixed with like melon and maybe pineapple. It's definitely like a tropical scent that you would smell in those areas that make stuff with tamarind. Like it smells like you got one of those, uh, I can't remember the name, but at a fruit stand where you get like the melon and the um, pineapple and everything, maybe mango, um, and you put the tamarind sauce on it. What the heck is it called? It starts with a CH. Um, the tamarind sauce that has like the spices and everything in it that is so freaking delicious. That's kind of what this smells like minus the spice, obviously. Oh my gosh, what is that called? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Something is wrong with my brain. Anyways, that's what this smells like. And I'm so glad Nicole talked about that tamarind note in it because that is the vibe I get from this. All I can think of my head is Cholula and that is not it. <laughs> that is not it. Okay. Uh, this was a sample from um, Super Tarts and Fake and Bake. This smells really good on cold. Something is wrong with my nose and Super Tarts, guys. I could not smell this on warm at all. It was like nothing was in my melter, unfortunately. Really sad. And last thing here, Rose Girls. This was from, I think, the beginning of the year or the end of last year. This was a mini melter bag in peppermint raindrops. This was a huge love um, when it came out. Um, I'm still trying to think of the name of that sauce. Anyways, um, one of you I know will put it below and be very kind to me. Um, <laughs> This was when people got this one and did their cold thoughts, warm thoughts, everything on this one. Really liked it. And I agree. A, her peppermint oil is fabulous. The raindrop, whatever it is in here, is very fresh and clean. Sorry, there's a jet flying over. Um, this threw very well. I had two bags of it. I think this is my second one. Um, so this was the end of it. But definitely one that I would get in a larger amount if that ever came out. So um, anyways, those are all my wax empties. Um for probably what, two and a half, maybe three weeks. I'd have to go look at, like I said, when my last wax empties video was. Um, obviously I've melted a lot of other stuff. This is just like my empties. Um, I, I post most of what I melt on my Instagram. I haven't been quite as good lately because ugh, I am working on not being on my phone as much. Um, that is a like fault, fault, but a uh, test of me is being on my phone too much. I just, my phone is constantly going off with like Facebook Messenger, uh, you know, IG, DMs, um, just so many things. I'm trying to like turn off notifications and not be on it as much. It's very hard for me though. It's something that I like need to detox from for sure. And not just like social media detox, not like that. I mean, literally for my sanity and my family and stuff. And so that's part of why I haven't been as good at, um, always posting what I melt. A, it already takes time away from my family when I'm, you know, dumping and filling out or filling all the, you know, hot plates and everything like that in my house. And then when I take pictures and I have to sit and post them, which is fine. Um, but it's like that whole process is like 45 minutes or or more every morning and every night I used to do. And so not every day am I willing to do that. So that's why you haven't seen as many posts um, daily on my Instagram about that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I am waiting probably tomorrow or the next day. My super tarts earthy pre-order should be here from not this last one, obviously, but from the time before it won't be a super long video, um, but it will be there. And then um, I should be getting something from the pharmacist's daughter to share with you guys soon. Um, that smell good shop should be coming soon. Not very big order either. Not at all, but little short videos. I think that's it. That's coming my way right now. Um, I got a tiny bit, tiny bit in the Teddy B's pre-order. 
Um, I got one more loaf of the Christmas trees and cream with the can crushed candy canes layered over it. And then just two tubs of Jon Snow. That was it for that. Um, that's it. That's literally it, I think. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope things are warming up for you guys. We got a ton of snow last week and today's high is like 73. So I think a lot of people are going through that right now. So hope you guys are doing well. We'll talk to you later. Bye.